In this video, I'm going to show you how to solve a simple circuit using a TI Inspire. So first, to solve any circuit, we must complete three steps. We must label the circuit, we must perform KCL and ESC on the circuit, and lastly, we must perform math on the circuit to get the actual numerical values associated with the circuit. In this problem, it's asking us to find what the voltage across the 80 ohm resistor is. I've labeled that, that voltage as VR. So our first step in solving this problem is to label all our nodes and all our currents. So first I'm going to label this bottom node and I'm going to say that's our ground. Every circuit needs a ground. It doesn't have to be the bottommost node of a circuit. It could be any node, but I picked my bottommost node. So this node up here is going to be 50 volts due to the voltage source. And this top right node I'm just going to call V because it has an unknown voltage. So we're done labeling our voltages in this circuit and we must move on to our currents. So there's going to be a current going this way, and I'm going to call it I1. And it's going to be a current going down, called I2. It's going to be a current going like this, called I3. Now the direction I picked for my currents is completely arbitrary. I could have picked any direction. I could have picked I1 going down, and I2 and I3 going up, or I2 going up, and I3 going down. It's completely arbitrary. But after you pick the direction for your components, you, I mean for your currents, you must be consistent with those directions throughout the whole problem. So we are done labeling our circuit, that's one third of the problem done, and we move on to KCL and EFC. So KCL, which stands for Kirchhoff's Current Law, is performed at nodes. So the only relevant node here is this node up here. So I1 goes into that node, and I2 and I3 come out of that node. And that's all the KCL we have to do for this circuit. I had to do the EFC for this circuit, which stands for Equation for Components. Now this circuit has four components, but we already incorporated the equation for the for this component, the 50 volt voltage source, into the circuit when we were labeling. So we only have to find the um, equation for the resistors. So we're first going to write the equation for the top left resistor. So the equation for that resistor is going to be I1 equals 50 volts minus V over 4. I2, which is for the middle one, is going to be equal to V over 20. And I3, this is for the third one, is going to be equal to V over 80. And these are going to be our, the, our equations. So we have four equations and four unknowns. This means that we can do a system of equations to solve for every variable and get an actual numerical value instead of a relation between the variables. So now we move on to our TI Inspire. So first we hit menu, then we go to algebra, followed by solve system of equations, and then we hit solve system of equations again. It's going to ask us for how many equations we have in our, in our system of equations. In this case, it's going to be one, two, three, four equations. And it's going to ask us what our variable are, variables are. In this case, our variables are I1, I2, oh, I3, and V. You simply separate them using commas. Then you hit OK, and it's going to set up a system of equations for you. So now all you have to do is input the equations that you, we found earlier using KCL and EFC. So our first equation is going to be I1 equals I2 plus I3. Then our second equation is going to be I1 equals 50 minus V over 4. Then the next equation is going to be I2 equals V over 20. And our last equation is going to be I3 equals V over 80. We just simply put the equations we found earlier into RTI Inspire. Then all we have to do is press enter to get our results. So if we press enter right now, we'll get our results in a fractional form if possible. But if we press control and enter, it'll give us our answers in decimal form. I'm going to just hit enter to get them into fractional form because it's more exact. So now the calculator is spitting out the the, um, the numerical values associated for every variable. So saying that V equals 40. So I'm going to write that down. V equals 40. It also gave me the numerical values for all the currents that I fed to it. But we don't care about that for this problem because we're trying to find a voltage in this circuit. So if we look back, we said that VR is going to be equal to whatever voltage is up here minus whatever voltage is down here. So I write that down again. VR is going to be equal to V, which is this circuit with this voltage up here, minus 0, which is this voltage down here. We know what V is, so we just fill in our unknowns, 40, 
minus 0, that's still 40. So our final answer would end up being 40. And that's how you solve a simple circuit using the TI-Inspire.